What's up? Space Monkey here, and welcome back to another Weapons of Call of Duty. And we are back on Call of Duty World War II. And we're going to talk about an assault rifle called the Volkstrom Gewehr. I probably said that wrong, but uh, anyway, these are the variants of this weapon. We have the Resistor, Defiance, the GOAT 2, and then uh, the regular base variant of this weapon. And, uh, it's pretty cool that I actually was able to collect all the variants of this weapon. I got the base variant in uh, the contracts where you got to go and pay like 50000 to, uh, you know, activate that contract and you get like 30 hip fire kills or something of that nature, something like that. I mean, if you guys play this game, you understand what I'm talking about, where they have a weapon every week in the contracts uh, that you're able to purchase if you have enough of your uh, salvage points up there or whatever you want to call them uh, but this is actually a really cool assault rifle uh, to uh, play with it's definitely really accurate now it kinda reminds me of when I play with this weapon it feels like I'm playing with a submachine gun just by the way that it takes down the enemies it does have these variants that are it's just like a smaller assault rifle than some of the uh, variants are and it just has a high rate of fire it's actually not too high maybe medium mediocre I guess but it feels like a submachine gun to me but it is an assault rifle and uh, you can definitely get some really nice hip fire kills uh, with this weapon. That's that's where I'm coming from when I talk about a submachine gun. How it feels like a submachine gun. But as far as playing with this weapon on the uh, multiplayer side, any of you guys watch any of my videos, you know that bloodthirsties are my thing. That is basically uh, what the videos are all about. And uh, I had a video of this weapon. Uh, when this game first came out, I wasn't really too happy with it. I really didn't know a whole lot about what I was doing. And uh, so, we're going to actually uh, redo a lot of these weapons on this game. Because this is actually a really fun game to play. And uh, it's still to this day a game that you'll find yourself really enjoy. You really enjoy playing it every time you play it. And of course, let's not forget... They got shipment on there. It's like a 24-7 map to play on. Now, those of you that watch any of my videos, you know that uh, Bloodthirsties are my thing. That's where it's at. That's what it's all about. And uh, we're going to get some Bloodthirsties with the Volstrom Gavir. And you may see me play on different maps or different variants, uh, but it's still the same weapon. That's the one thing that I liked about this game, this Call of Duty game, is it didn't matter what variant you had of that weapon. It did not change the way that that weapon performs. Uh, because in some of the other Call of Duty games, you know, we had those variants of that weapon that we really liked, and then we get this variant that was kind of like, uh, what the heck? You know, I'm not going to run around with that. You know, some of them variants, they have, like, really low damage, but to come with a suppressor. You know, the suppressor's good. I like to play with suppressors with submachine guns. Uh, you know, it pretty much makes the game to my advantage, because they can't hear me, you know, firing off, except for up close. But, come on, you know, nobody likes playing with a variant that has negative everything on the stats, except for one thing. So, in this Call of Duty game, we have the base weapon, and then we have a bunch of variants that are cosmetically different from that base weapon that don't change the way that the weapon performs, and that's what I really like about this Call of Duty game. It's uh, boots on the ground, you kind of have to be, uh, you know, watch all areas around you. When you play Free For All, you have to watch everything. And it's really fun getting back on there and going and getting some bloodthirsties, uh, you know, with weapons and just, it's always fun uh, tearing into somebody here on a Call of Duty multiplayer game. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's gameplay of the Volstrom Gavir 
<laughs> I probably said it wrong, but anyway, don't forget to smash that like button on your way out. Your support is definitely needed and appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe. You'll be part of the Space Monkey Squad and be able to keep up with videos just like this one that I post uh, weekly on the uh, YouTube channel. So until next time, this is Space Monkey. Thanks for watching. Peace.